someone was going to uh, have a portrait of you, a photographic portrait, um, would you be happy if this was it, right? So this is the new official portrait of the king, which is worth waiting for, honestly, it really is. It's a lovely Nowadays. picture. Um, so there's quite a lot of uh, ceiling in that, uh, but if you zoom into it and uh, it'll, it'll go up in somebody's wall, some school around the country, whatever it is. It's a very nice, yes. regal Yes, and it portrait. was taken inside Windsor Castle by photographer Hugo Bernand, um, and it's part of an £8 million government-funded scheme to distribute the picture of our new sovereign in schools, councils and other buildings so around it should be the country coming and to probably the world. A council building near you soon. Uh, Royal biographer Angela Rev Le Levin joins us now. What do you think of it, Angela? Well, I think it's very nice, but I do think he looks a bit vulnerable and a little sad. I mean, oh. what he's got, it's, it's, he's got, he's wearing the Admiral of the Fleet's uniform with insignia from orders of the Garter, Thistle, Bath, Merit and Sash of Victorian Order. I mean, mm -hmm. it's an amazing amount that he's carrying on him. I wonder how heavy it is. Mm. But to me, I mean, he, he looks very regal, but he mm -hmm. also looks just a bit sad. I prefer it to the pictures that came actually, frankly, from his coronation with the crown on and all the fur and everything, which you, know, you have to see on a coronation day, but almost in the modern world was a bit sort of in Congress, wasn't it? Whereas this looks understated and yet very regal to me. I, I think so it's a fabulous picture. Why wouldn't it be a picture of the king and queen? as opposed to just the king. Because I think they don't put up the pictures of the two of them all around the country. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not um, common to do that. Not common, you or just it might have... be common to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. It's I... uh, unusual to do that. And if we, when we saw the Queen, we just saw the Queen, didn't we? All the, yeah. the photographs that go round well, hang on people's walls. What we see. didn't see is a quote that is, uh, is widely reported mm. today uh, that the late Queen told AIDS after the Sussexes, that's Meghan and Harry, chose the name Lilibet for their daughter. Um, I don't own the palaces or the paintings, only my name. And now they've taken that. I know, that's an incredibly sad comment. And I think one of the reasons was that it was discovered that Meghan, even before Lilibet was born, had taken out the names um, uh, officially so that you, she could use them to buy things, to identify them. So it was what do you called... mean, like copyright the names? Yes, or... yes. Seriously? Yes. Before Lilibet she was even Diana, pregnant? Before she had Lilibet. <gasps> she might well have been pregnant. But this was discovered. Oh, my word. And actually, I think that is awful for the Queen because she gets drawn in to be um, owning sort of tea uh, organisations or, you know, gloves or something like that because the name is so unique and just for, for her, because she couldn't say it when she was young, and for her family, her parents, and for the Duke of Edinburgh, very, it was what he called her out of love, very intimate, so that she is put there. And people who don't know will think, oh, yes, the Queen is supporting this, let's buy it. I think it's um, appalling. What could I say to you that without the Queen, with the Queen no longer with us, that Lilibet hasn't got that reflected glory? And therefore, I can't see people buying Lilibet gloves or handbags or anything in the future because Queen Elizabeth isn't here anymore. Yes, well, she can't say she'd like it now, can she? Yeah. No. no. So that's right. But I think it's um, very disrespectful. And I think the first time it's we saw that... It's Yes, and it's, it's trying to get her own back because Meghan really hated the fact that she wasn't treated as she felt she should have been. Mm -hmm. And she wanted to get her own back. And we saw in Netflix when they did their um, six-hour broadcast when she did that imitation curtsy and she did this, oh, your majesty. Mm. With so over the top, front. wasn't it? And she did and she all did this, that. and then Harry's face was just stricken. Yeah, but uh, he didn't stop it. He's never no. done anything to stop it. Why didn't he stop it for the lily bit? Mm. I mean, it just shows you not just who is in charge, but that she doesn't care what he really thinks, because he would be very hurt to do that. He loved the Queen. And although he might have felt, well, it's not quite our life to live in, in there. He told me when I was writing his biography that he um, would stay long because the Queen, because she's so wonderful. Gosh.